In this video, I'm going to be comparing different open source embedding models. So if you ever used embedding models, chances are you've used one of OpenAI's models for embeddings, such as Ada v2. One downside of it is that it costs some money and you don't control your data. And another thing is that it might not even perform as well as some open source models. So if you look at Hugging Face, they released a text embedding benchmark that ranks different embedding models. And if you go to see the different models, you'll see that OpenAI's text embedding out of V2 model um, is number 13 on the list with many small models performing even better. And these models are open source and free. So I'm going to be looking at some of these base size models, such as BGE, GTE, and E5, and seeing how well they perform. BGE is based on a paper called Retro MAE, where they introduce a different pre-training objective involving demasking. And one thing cool about it is that it directly uses the embedding in the pre-training, unlike a traditional BERT model. So here they have a full-sized BERT model that generates an embedding, but loss is only calculated when they try using this embedding to predict the original text. So this makes make sure the embedding is very useful for predicting the text. And they only let this decoder model have one layer, which means the embedding would need to be really interpretable by that one layer. And for a different model, GTE, this model uses contrastive pre-training as its objective which means it will make sure that embeddings from the same pair of text are more similar and embeddings from different pairs of text are more different. First, they generate a very large data set of unsupervised pairs from different websites on the internet. And then they train it on those pairs. And then they fine tune it on pairs from a manually labeled set of data sets. So these will be higher quality pairs that it's fine tuned on. And a similar model is E5. This uses contrastive pre-training as well. And they say they use their own pair data set called CC pairs. Here, I'm going to compare the different models on a classification task with a linear classifier. This is only one way of using the model. So if you want to use the best model for your own task, you should test this yourself. I already ran this notebook ahead of time and I compared this, this three models we were talking about on the task of classifying the sentiment of different movie reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. It took about 41 seconds to compute the embeddings for the data set on all three models with, with it taking about the same amount of time for each model. So here the models are about even. If we tried to score a linear classifier on top of each of these embeddings, we can compare how well these embeddings perform. And here are the results. BGE and GTE both 
perform at about 80% accuracy on this data set. And E5 gets about 82% on this data set. These are all really close numbers. So I think the best choice for you would be to test this yourself because these numbers are so close that it really depends on the data set. So I hope this showed you how easy it is to calculate your own embeddings using an open source model and maybe move off of the OpenAI API to save some costs. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to be making more. So please subscribe and I'll see you then.